So, my wife's telling me the story, and I'm eating the sandwich, right? And then all of a sudden I, I bite into this. I hope it's a cheese wrapper. This is Black Angus, people. This is um, from Black Angus. Anyways, I had to stop her and I'm like, we should put this on YouTube. Okay. Go on, honey. Oh wait, start from the beginning. Okay, so from the beginning. I'm having a horrible day, horrible day. So it's nine o'clock at night and my mom wants to take me to Black Angus. So she takes me, I'm gonna look at you, not the camera. Okay. So she takes me to Black Angus so that we can have a nice dinner and talk. We get there and the guy asks us, do we wanna sit at the bar? Do we wanna sit out on the patio or do we wanna sit in the dining room? We sit in the dining room because we wanna sit and talk and have somewhere quiet. So he takes us in, we go us to the dining room area, and he gives us like this huge booth. So we're like, okay, so we kind of get in the booth together, and my mom's sitting on this side, and I'm sitting here. And we're just like chatting and stuff, and then I look at the menu, and there's like nothing but like steak and like $25 steaks and stuff. So I'm like, I don't really want to get something that expensive. So I get one of the cheaper things on the menu, which was $17 for a filet mignon uh, sandwich. So I got that with a side of coleslaw. My mom got a baked potato and a side of coleslaw. So um, the sandwich comes out, and it's a $17 sandwich. And when it came out, it was burnt toast on the bottom. Wow. Like black. It was black. For $17, that sandwich should be made by the Queen of England. So then, so then I, I call the waitress over, and I tell her, my toast is burnt on the bottom like and they tried to cover it up by putting like the stuff on top of it and the cheese and stuff they tried to like hide that the toast was burnt on the bottom so then she goes oh i'm so sorry so she leaves my mom like finishes her food while i'm waiting to get a new piece of bread and she brings me out this like long sub bread that's not even toasted it's just like cold bread so i'm like whatever so I go, I'm just like, alright, so I take my filet mignon and all that stuff, and I put it on the bread. And then I look, and there's this, like, triangle clear, like, stuff, and I go pick it up, and it's, like, that cheese wax paper that's, like, in between the cheeses, but it's, like, clear because it's soaked in, like, the cheese grease. So, I'm like... All right, this is ridiculous. So it's like a $17 sandwich. So then I go, I get up, I go to talk to somebody. Like they're all sitting around hanging out on their phones and stuff in Black Angus at this really nice expensive restaurant. And um, I asked for a manager. So I go sit back down. The hostess guy, he goes and gets a manager. The manager comes. I show him my burnt toast. I show him the bread that they brought out that's not even toasted and I showed him the wax paper that was in my sandwich and then he's like okay what what would you like me to do I'm like I would like a whole new sandwich so he goes like you had to ask yeah like how do I do my job ma'am <laughs> so then he goes and um he takes all the stuff away and he goes and gives me what I thought was a whole new sandwich. So I ate half of it. I cut it in half. I ate half of it. It was fine. It was kind of dry. Like, there wasn't even enough sauce on it or anything. But that's regardless. I was just like, whatever. I took the other half. I brought it home to my husband. Oh, and he didn't even comp my meal. I, I, ha I literally had to pay for a $17 sandwich that they had to remake. Supposedly. It definitely doesn't sound like it was worth $17. No. So, and then, getting home, giving the other half of the sandwich to my hubby so that he can eat something, and he finds wax paper in his freaking sandwich. They didn't even make a new sandwich. They just took the stuff, retoasted some bread, and put it on, and there was still freaking wax paper on the sandwich. This is unbelievable. I didn't get comped anything, so I don't feel bad for complaining, because they didn't even comp my meal or anything. And you trusted those people with your food. <sighs> We will now, never eat there again. I'm not sure if I'm going to eat the rest of this, but we might send this video to Black Angus, and they'll have to measure that. Can you grab me um, a tape measure over there? Because, um, you know, they're very um, 
cheap or whatever. They don't like giving discounts, so maybe they can just, you know, measure it and give us a discount for the percentage we didn't eat. Do you think they'll do that? No. <laughs> Which Black Angus was this? This was in Brentwood. The Black Angus off of, uh, what's it called? Brentwood, California. Sun, what's that road, honey? Right sunset? off the highway, yeah, right off Highway 4. No, yeah. not Sunset. Is it Sunset? Sunset Drive? No. What is it? I don't know. They can Google it. It's over by Ross. And yeah. in that big shopping center. You know where the um, theater is? Yeah. It's over, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. There's a Black Angus there. Do you know really, the manager's name? Really high end? No, it was a male manager, like, I don't know, maybe in his 50s or something. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't ask names. I was just like, I thought he literally, I thought they made me a new sandwich. I was like, fine with that. I was like, okay. They should have comped my meal for having to wait. I didn't even get to eat with my mom or anything, but I was like, all right, it is what it is. We even touched the waitress still because it really wasn't her fault that the cooks were, you know. Was she on her phone? Happy. No, she was not on her phone. Oh, the only good waitress. No, and she apologized, even though I went and got the manager myself, because I, I, after I saw the cheese. You know, uh, this wax paper here, I could, I mean, a lot of people would really, it. you know, people would freak out about that. I can let that slide because I could see how that could get stuck on the cheese, you know, yeah. but hiding the burnt bread and, and, and then like giving them the Giving the thing me the back. same stuff. Like, as if it was a new sandwich. So you show them that it has this on there, and then they give you a new sandwich, and they don't even, like, it's not new, it's the same one with, I'm guessing, different bread, but they don't even take that off. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Somebody could seriously choke on that, because you can't chew it. You can't swallow that. Like, it'll get stuck in your throat. Yeah. Oh, my God. You guys should send this video to your friends, and it should go viral, and people should know about Black Angus. Yeah, they should know not to eat there because it's horrible. If something is wrong with your food, you'll get the same wrong food, and they won't comp your meal. Yeah, it's at not, least it's at least the it. Brentwood California seventeen dollar sandwich. I like. Yeah. I just it should be perfect. There it must be, be like a bad it. chain. Like you think that the chain would like want quality people. Like I haven't even like got chefs? that bad of service at McDonald's. Yeah. People, if you want good food, go to McDonald's oh, because gosh, I've never McDonald's. gotten that there. I mean, it tastes better. There's not wrappers in it. Anyway, I'm done venting now. So. Okay.